Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello learners, I welcome you to this course on Integrated Marketing Communications. We are going to take up this lecture titled Objectives, Components and Theory of Integrated Marketing Communications. Friends, I am Dr. Bhavneer Bhatti from School of Communication Studies, Punjab University. Before we move on to today's lecture, let us do a quick review of what we had learned in the previous lecture. First of all, we had done an introduction to the concepts of advertising and promotions. We understood the concept of marketing mix with the important concept of four P's of the marketing mix. And we laid a foundation into understanding what are marketing communications. So today I'm going to move on to the second lecture of the first module where we are going to discuss the objective components and theory of IMC. The objectives of this lecture are threefold. First of all, we are going to provide an introduction to the concept of IMC. We are going to look at the objectives and components of integrated marketing communication. And finally, we are going to look at the theoretical foundation of IMC. Friends, Let's look at the concept of IMC in terms of how it originated, how it evolved and how it assumed importance that it gains today. Now we all know that advertising is one of the primary activities that actually dominates the whole promotional scenario. It is the most visible form of promotions. It's the most popular, most persuasive form of promotions. And for years together, Advertising was believed to be a primary activity of promotions, whereas other activities like publicity, direct marketing, public relations, all these were seen as only auxiliary services or secondary services of marketing. In 1980s, this scenario began to change. The marketers felt the need to integrate the communication efforts being made by different promotional tools. And by 1990s, the shift was made from merely focusing on advertising to actually putting in the approach of integrated marketing communication. The shift was very prominent and it remained powerful even today where in the space of digital marketing communications, we are still looking at integrating the marketing communication effort. Now let's see why this whole concept of integrated marketing communication became so important why is it still considered to be so important? If you look at this uh, image here, you will see that a single consumer is going to receive multiple stimuli about a brand. It's not only through a TVC that he is going to learn. He might notice a sale. He might notice certain publicity efforts. For instance, if you are looking at any of your cell phone companies sending you a latest, uh, selling you a latest model of a cell phone. So you first notice a television commercial or an advertisement. Then perhaps you check what are the offers on that phone. You also see if there is certain kind of publicity contest that is being run, which can help you get a better deal or a bargain. You go to social media to check the reviews of people who are using that phone. And there is some kind of relationship building exercise also that reaches out to you in some way. What we are trying to say here is simply the fact that consumers perceptions of a company is a synthesis of the bundle of messages that they receive from a number of marketing tools. These, my friends, are the various marketing tools, publicity, sales promotion, direct promotion. All these are the tools. And what I think about a company as a consumer is a sum total of all the stimuli that I receive from these various tools. Now, why do we need IMC? Because there needs to be certain kind of integration of all the messages being sent out through these tools. There needs to be coherence. Coherence means that there has to be certain kind of similarity in what is being said. Then finally, you need to unify your act. It shouldn't be that something is being said on social media. 
your uh, advertisement is absolutely going another way your relationship building is out of sync so there has to be unification and this can be done only through inc synergy you need to be optimally utilizing each of your promotional tools to the best possible way and finally duplication can be avoided if you are going to use integrated marketing communications friends definitions always help us bring the concept together and what i'm sharing with you right now is the very first definition perhaps that was coined for integrated marketing communication and it came from the practitioners themselves so it was from the american association of advertising agencies let's see how do they define the concept of integrated marketing communication now for them it is a concept of marketing communication planning that recognizes the added value of comprehensive plan there has to be some kind of plan when you are communicating with your audience now what is that plan that evaluates the strategic role of a variety of communication disciplines each communication discipline whether it is general advertising direct response sales promotion they have a strategic role to perform and this integrated marketing communication is a special effort to recognize the strategic role and combine these disciplines to provide clarity consistency and maximum communication impact so according to this definition there are three key things that we have to remember one it's a comprehensive plan so it's a full fledged plan two it evaluates the strategic role of different communication disciplines and three what does it do it combines these discipline to give you clarity consistency and maximum communication impact let's look at a couple of more definitions to make this clear kotler a famous uh, marketing practitioner he says that imc is a concept under which a company carefully integrates and coordinates its many communication efforts or channels and what does it do this for to bring about a clear consistent compelling message friends we have to understand that it is only when our message is clear in thought and expression only then it is going to be able to compel your audience to act upon it so imc helps in bringing out clear consistent and compelling messages if you had to sum it up very briefly in simple words imc is bringing together of all marketing communication efforts and where does it all boil down to it boils down to the promotional mix so imc or integrated marketing communication can simply be understood as the process of integrating all promotional mix elements you have your direct communication you have advertising you have marketing communications which are bringing together all these elements so integrated marketing communication means bringing together the elements of the promotional mix let's take a practical example i have with me a case study of the coca cola company today and uh, let me show you how practically we can start looking at integrated marketing communication friends coca cola is a global brand no matter what part of the world one lives in you are sure to have noticed tasted experienced coca cola as a brand recently they came out with a very popular campaign which was called share a coke campaign now the integrated marketing communication effort that they made is something that i want you people to notice firstly they came out with advertisements the most visible part right there were hoardings there were television commercials there was all kinds of advertising done even in the indian scenario you will remember seeing coke bottles with these particular names you know share a coke with this and this name and also relations share a coke with brother share a coke with sister so here what have they done first of all they have thought of a campaign they have brought advertising activity this is a case of bringing in packaging that you start displaying the name on the packaging itself so packaging is a marketing communication activity advertising is a marketing communication activity let's see what did they do next they actually installed exhibits and kiosks in malls wherein you could scribble your own name and you could get a customized bottle with your own name right there you could collect it from that exhibit so this was another marketing activity that they brought in what next they brought in internet 
you could really go onto the internet you could personalize and share your coke bottle so you'd see i've put my own name i've customized this whole experience for myself and it's so easy you just type in any name that you want this bottle is readily available for you you can make an order you can purchase it and then it gets delivered at your address so what did they do and they brought together the entire concept by these components look at this once again think of a campaign share a coke install advertisements go to various target audience with their specific needs then install exhibits and care socks go to social media all marketing communication activities integrated at a simple coke of sharing a coke with a particular person and this idea became so popular with youths that in australia alone this is the kind of benefit it reaped there was 870% increase in the facebook traffic there were millions of media impressions earned there were 76000 virtual coke cans shared and there were 378000 extra coke cans printed at these live kiosks so this is the case scenario i'm sharing for australia this was a globally successful campaign in singapore in australia in india share a coke became a example of integrated marketing communications done right where you reap in advertisements you reap in social media you reap in campaigning you reap in exhibits you reap in real time engagement with your audiences so friends this is how integrated marketing communication is done for real let's see how is this done to actually build your own campaigns you need to understand two things objectives and components of imc there are three objectives the first one is that you need to project a consistent image of your company in the marketplace so our first approach is how do we bring consistency and unification in all the messages our second most important objective is a common theme and positioning positioning means how people think about your brand so imc looks at consistency it looks at a common theme a centralized message which is going to go across through all the promotional elements and finally it looks at how effectively you can communicate with your stakeholders so these are the three objectives on which imc works now let's look at the components of imc friends first of all there need to be clearly defined objectives on which imc is going to act secondly you need to bring about certain kind of synergy a coherence in all the elements thirdly you need to look at your target audience as an important component fourth you need to identify the elements of your promotional mix and you need to bring them all together how do you do this by a common theme and finally you need to manage your media vehicles very well let's look at each of these components separately now the first one clearly identified marketing communication objectives friends each organization has certain organizational objectives and then certain marketing objectives there needs to be a sync in between both of them look at this before you plan any imc activity you need to have clearly identified marketing communication objectives and these should be in sync or consistency with organizational objectives for example in the recent case study that i have shared with you coca cola had clearly defined organizational objective of tapping in more youths to engage with their brand this particular organizational objective got translated into a marketing communication activity of reaching out to youth audience by using the correct media by trending something which everybody is going to follow so if you have clear cut organizational objectives and consistent marketing objectives this will help you in building a strong imc campaign the second component is coherence and synergy now when you have a planned approach you are able to use all promotional activities very well and this can help bring a certain kind of synergy by synergy we mean that we are able to go beyond what could be the actual sum of numbers that is 2 and 2 could be 4 but you have to make a 2 and 2 into a 5 for example a single advertisement might not be able to persuade an audience 
but along with that advertisement if you also have a live exhibit and after seeing a tvc somebody goes to the mall they see that live exhibit there they are able to get their personalized bottles then they come home they switch on the social media the entire thing is trending on facebook you take a selfie with that personalized bottle you put on the facebook you feel a part of the whole campaign it starts trending so what a single advertisement could not achieve actually all the promotional tools when brought together achieved much more than that that's called synergy right the third thing is target audience you are making all this effort for a receiver and you need to understand that receiver well understanding your audience means knowing their demographics their psychographics their media consumption patterns now because coca cola had to engage with youths it tried to find out what are the habits of youth what media do they consume how do you get to engage with them this helped them in roping in social media in their campaign this helped them in understanding this obsession of sharing things with their friends so if you have understood your target audience well your job is done and this includes both your internal and external publics right and thus target audience becomes a very important component of inc friends next element is your promotional mix you have to identify what are the elements of your promotional mix and you need to bring them together whether you are going to use advertising along with personal selling whether you are going to use direct marketing along with advertising you need to identify your mix and you need to then integrate your act accordingly the next component is a commonness in theme theme is something which binds your whole act together remember if you uh, use this word theme in context of let's say a party you go to a theme party and the theme is retro so you dress up like that perhaps the menu is like that the interior decor is like that so each individual comes in their own costume but they are all in sync with that common retro theme of the party similarly we are not here advocating a standardized message all guests do not have to come in the same costume but there has to be a commonness of theme so your advertising your direct marketing your publicity can all have its own individual flavor but they should all be pointing towards at a common theme this is an important component of inc finally management of media vehicles how well are you able to choose suitable media vehicle for your audience look at the current covid 19 advertisement campaigns pr campaigns being done by government and private organizations they are trying to reach out to you through every possible media whether it is television whether it is your radio even before you uh, dial a phone to somebody else instead of the tone you will first hear a message on covid 19 so what is happening the suitable media vehicles are being tapped so that the campaign reaches to correct person at correct time no matter how brilliant your campaign is if it is played on a television channel that nobody is watching it's going to go waste so integrated marketing communication has an important component of managing your media vehicles let's move on to the last part of today's lecture that is theoretical foundations of integrated marketing communication friends we have this important model here today the inc process model to be able to understand the process of integrated marketing communication we will first have to lay a little look towards the process of communication wilbur schramm in 1960 gave us this concept of communication process and he gave us the important elements now for a moment think to yourself when you are communicating with a friend when you are communicating with a family member who are people involved what is process being involved here there is a sender who frames a message for instance i am the sender at this moment framing this message then there is a message in itself my today's lecture is the message there is a channel i am reaching out to you through swayam prabha platform through television sets so i have chosen a media vehicle and finally receiver that is you learners and students so every communication process 
according to SRAM, has these four elements of sender, message, channel and receiver. And this, when applied to integrated marketing communication, gives you a simple equation. Agency that is actually planning the campaign is your sender. The campaign itself is the message. The media vehicles that you choose are the channels and the audiences that you want to tap are actually your receivers. But IMC process model goes a step further. It adds a certain elements to SRAM's model. The first thing is that receiver over here could not only be the members of your target audience, but also be non-members. Marketing communications are frequently seen and heard by people, even those who are not being directly targeted by the organizations, especially with social media influencers and everything these days, you are reaching out to a huge, huge platform of audiences. Then you need to understand that there is a communication loop. By communication loop, we mean two-way communication. That once the receiver has received your campaign, they are also going to respond in a certain way, either by making a purchase decision or by dropping a comment on social media. So you need to understand the two-way communication. And finally, the IMC process model recognizes that communications may fall short and may not be received by all or only a limited number of receivers. So according to the IMC process model, we have a sender message channel receiver, but there is also a communication context. There is a communication loop and there is a receiver base. If you keep these ideas in mind, you will be able to draft more efficient integrated marketing communication campaigns. So that's all for today. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned today. Friends, first of all, we understood the concept of integrated marketing communication and the definition of integrated marketing communication. It is simply bringing together of all marketing communications of a company. Then we looked at the objectives. The primary objective of IMC is to bring about a consistency in your marketing communications. Then we looked at the components. How is this done? You have clearly defined objectives, you have coherence, you need to understand your target audience, you need to look at your promotional mix, there has to be a common theme and all your messages are going to be designed according to this theme and finally you need to manage your media vehicles well. The last thing that we learned today was the theoretical foundation, the concept of sender message channel receiver in context of IMC process model. So that is all that we have learned today. Here is a small task that you people can do. Ask yourself this question. Any of your favorite brands, do they use more than just advertisements to reach out to you? Think about this and then try to enlist the various marketing activities that these brands are using to reach out to you. This will help you identify what are the various marketing activities that the companies are integrating to reach out to you with the approach of integrated marketing communications. Friends, these are the references and readings used to prepare the today's lecture. These are the books that can be consulted for further knowledge. I hope today's lecture has helped you make some foundation in definition of IMC objectives of IMC and theoretical foundations of IMC. So I hope you have gained through this lecture and for the next lecture we are going to look at a more detailed analysis of the promotional mix. Thank you learners.